Hello, language learners. Today, I would like to say a few words about motivation in second language learning. I want to explain how complex motivation is, how many factors can influence it, and how you can manage it efficiently. Okay, let's get started. Probably the basic thing you can read about motivation is that it could be internal and external. We decide to do something to fulfill our psychological needs because we enjoy doing something or because we want to get a social reward. We want better career prospects, higher salary and things like this. So, what motivation do you think works better? I think that the double one does. When you combine internal and external motives. If you learn a foreign language just for practical reasons, try to find things that you can enjoy during your learning process. Start watching your favorite movies with subtitles. Reading and writing posts on Facebook. Make friends. If you learn your new language just because uh, you enjoy doing it, uh, you can create external motivation for yourself. For example, enroll in a certification. Another very popular classification recognizes instrumental and integrational motivation. We see a language as a tool to achieve something, for example, to get our dream job, or to make connections and communicate. Many people learn their heritage uh, language uh, because of uh, this reason. Again, I think double motivation works better. If your main goal is instrumental, just add an integrational part. Make friends, join a community and vice versa. Now I would like to talk about very common misconceptions about motivation. That is a thinking uh, about motivation as a starting point of our action, something that uh, appears and pushes us to do something. Studies on motivation show that motivation is evolving, changing, and it happens even before we make a decision. So the first stage of motivation is predecisional phase, on which motivation is forming of our wishes, hopes, desires, opportunities. How can we increase our motivation at this stage? First of all, by understanding what is the core of your need to learn a new language, how it is related to your other wishes, hopes and desires. It will help you to choose the mode of learning languages uh, that suits you better. For example, you had a wonderful trip to Spain and decided to learn Spanish. The core of your need is retaining this wonderful feeling of summer, holiday, relax, positive emotions. And that is what you should support uh, during your learning process. For example, watching photo albums, reading travel blogs, or maybe watching Spanish films with subtitles, maybe joining a discussion forum or travelers community. Just explore your opportunities to learn Spanish and support your motivation. 
after you understand your needs, you can come to the second stage, goal setting. Many learning stories were short, full of hardship and disappointments, finished with failure because in, of inappropriate goal setting. For example, many proficient learners have problems with confidence when speaking English. In most cases, it doesn't mean uh, that lack of confidence is their personal trait or uh, that there are special secrets on how to become a proficient and confident English speaker. They simply don't have enough practice. Unfortunately, many of them choose watching speeches on YouTube. Somehow it's uh, helpful. But the real shortcut to this problem is to build your own network of speakers and practice talking to them. Another important thing, your goal should be realistic. Don't expect to become a fluent in your foreign language in three months time. You can do a lot in three months. It is possible to learn uh, how to communicate in basic everyday situations, but don't expect you that you will be able to understand everything, support conversations on uh, social, political or professional topics. If you have this ambition, just set, set short term goals for several period consequently. After your goal is clear for you, you can come to the next stage action plan. My suggestion is not to make one big plan, but many short term or even tiny term plans. Theories of learning suggest that in the contemporary fast paced world, micro learning, it means learning of the short chunks of chunks of information is the most appropriate way of learning. So you may need uh, monthly or weekly plans with uh, 15 minutes every second day. Uh, the allocation of special time for your language learning is crucial because it creates commitment. Commitment is very important because it helps you to make your language learning a habit. If you make your language learning a habit, you will not need uh, to push yourself to learn, to motivate, to motivate yourself. You will very keen to learn, even you will feel a discomfort when you don't do it. You may struggle and resist in the beginning. It happens always when we try to set a new habit, but after a while it will go smoothly. When realizing your plan, be committed but flexible. There are many life circumstances that can obstruct your plan. You may find out that your methods and activities are not appropriate. You may realize that your result isn't satisfactory. You should analyze why. Be prepared not to give up your plan, but adjust or build uh, a new one. That's a universal advice to make any enterprise successful. Make a plan, monitor it, when realizing, analyze what is right, what is wrong, and amend your next actions accordingly. Language learning is a long process. It might be very hard and frustrating, which means that you need support and rewards. There are many ways you can ensure support. 
It might be a peer support. Uh, you can share your experience with friends who learn the same language. You can exchange some interesting services with them, do some tasks and activities together. It's always good to have a supportive environment, for example, a learning group or community on the internet. If achieving your goal takes two or three years, it's good to develop your system of rewards. You could, uh, for example, have something you like, a piece of chocolate or a new episode of your favorite TV uh, show, dinner with your friends, uh, one day trip after you uh, pass your final exam test. It also might be something more sophisticated like search for meaning. Uh, just try to look over the pragmatic level of your learning. A foreign language can give you a new intellectual perspectives, uh, insight into a new culture, a new way of thinking and even feeling. You can discover interesting uh, life stories, wise thoughts, books, films, something that is related to your professional interest. So think about your inspiration in this new language and new culture. Remember, language is about you and about the world around you. And a few words about time management. There are plenty of videos on YouTube on how you can manage your time better. I especially recommend those ones on TED Talks. Usually they suggest that you should arrange and prioritize your tasks. For example, you can divide all what you have do to do during this particular day into compulsory and optional tasks, very important, somehow important, not important, very urgent, less urgent, not urgent. And of course, you start with compulsory, important and urgent tasks. But if you are going to do something uh, which is optional, not very important, maybe even urgent but why should you do it since it's not very important uh, since it's optional you can skip it and allocate this time for your language learning allocation of special time for particular tasks is important for example if you have a 20-minute time, time gap, don't start doing something that requires uh, one or two hours. And to sum up, 10 tips for keeping your motivation high when learning a foreign language. Set up your short and long-term realistic goals following your personal needs, wishes, ambitions, plans, and duties. Make a detailed short-term plan and a general long-term plan. Ensure different types of motivation, internal and external, instrumental and integrative. Understand your core needs in language learning. Find an inspiration related to your language learning. Think ahead what challenges you may face and decide how you would overcome them. Allocate a special time for your language learning. Make learning a habit. Ensure support and rewards for yourself. Track your learning, analyze, modify, and adjust when you find a room for improvements. 
Thank you very much for your attention. You can contact me if you want to book a lesson of English, Polish or Russian. Here are my contacts.